We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here coming to you on this special day. We thank God that it is Friday. We have made it through another week by the grace of God and by that same grace we will keep on going. I tell you my dear friend the grace of God is sufficient. In whatever we might be facing, the grace of God is sufficient. I want to speak to you my dear friend and the title of my message today is Empowerment Through Grace. Say that with me. Say Empowerment Through Grace. Now, let us begin by welcoming the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift up your hands as a sign of surrender and say this with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Bless me and touch me and speak to me today through this message. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, my dear friend, the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 5, it says, by whom we received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name. Now, let us take a moment to just break this scripture down and understand what it is saying. It says, by whom we received grace and apostleship. Notice the calling and grace go hand in hand. They go together. Grace and apostleship. Now it goes on and says, for obedience to the faith among all nations, for his name. Now it starts by saying by whom, and it is speaking about Christ. Through Christ we have received this grace. Through the full and finished work of the cross, we have received this grace in order to walk in our purpose, in order to walk in our destiny, but not just that. To receive our salvation, we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Furthermore, to enable us to walk in obedience to the faith. It is even by grace that we can finish this race. It is not by our own strength. It is not of our own doing. It is by divine enablement in Christ. All that we do and receive in Christ is by divine enablement through the grace that has been availed to us by the full and finished work of the cross. We need to learn to rely on the grace of God. The grace of God is sufficient for His power is made perfect in weakness. Say that with me. Say the grace of God is sufficient for His power is made perfect in weakness. So we need to learn to rely on the grace of God. God in all his wisdom made a way for us through Christ Jesus our Lord. And if you want to go far in this call, in this walk, in this race, then allow God to empower you through the grace. Sometimes we may think that we are strong. And yes, in human terms we may be strong. But understand and know that even the strongest human being you can find isn't strong enough to accomplish some of the missions and the tasks that God will give us. And we need God in order to go far. Many people make a mistake. They start with God, they go far, and they forget that He was the one who empowered them to go that far. And they start at that point to try to make it in their own strength. And that is where problems begin to start. So we need to rely on the grace of God. Ask Him for the grace to do well and succeed in your purpose and destiny. That is a good point to add to your daily prayer points as you seek God and you spend time with Him. Ask Him for grace to do well and succeed in your business. If you are running a business, if you are a businessman or a businesswoman, ask God for grace so that your business will go up and not down so that your business will grow and expand its footprint, so that you will be able to open many branches of that business and grow. Ask Him for grace to do well in your career, so that you can go very far in that career, so that you can make your mark and your impact in that career. Ask Him for grace. By the grace of God, you can be empowered to do great things. 
By grace we receive blessing after blessing and by that same grace we can keep going. By that grace we are saved. For we are saved by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. It is a divine pardon availed to us by the full and finished work of the cross that Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior accomplished. So by that grace, ask God to empower you and go far and make your mark in this realm. In saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. Let us begin by thanking and praising God and as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray and I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we just praise and we thank you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We can't make it far without you. And we wouldn't be able to do anything without you. We give you praise and we thank you for your goodness and your mercy towards us. Your goodness and your mercy sustains us. Your grace is sufficient for us. We thank you, Father, and we give you praise. We thank you for another day to live with our family and our friends. We thank you for another opportunity to press on and to press in and to receive from you. We thank you for another opportunity to seek you, to seek your face and to pray. We thank you for this great opportunity in Christ that we have received. And today we lift up your name. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, the one who was, the one who is, and the one who is to come. And we give you praise. We praise you. For you are a good God. You are a gracious God. You are a merciful God. And you never leave us helpless. Come in your glory, Lord, and fill this place where I'm recording this and in the place where my dear friend is watching. And bless my dear friend mightily mightily, mightily. I ask this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Now, my dear friend, we're going to go into a time of prayer. As I begin to pray for you, I want to encourage you comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. Give my dear friend grace and divine empowerment to go far in their walk with you, to go far in their relationship with you, to experience great things, to experience miracles, signs, and wonders, to experience what only you can do. Give my dear friend grace and divine empowerment to do things that will bring glory to the name of Jesus Christ. Empower, my dear friend, for that purpose and destiny. Empower, my dear friend, to start and grow that business. Empower, my dear friend, so much so that as my dear friend manages that business, it will expand and increase its footprint. Empower, my dear friend, that my dear friend will go far in their career, that they will make a great mark and a lasting impact. Empower, my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter, will watch this video. I thank you that distance and time is not a barrier for you and you are able to bless and touch my dear friend wherever my dear friend is and whenever my dear friend will watch this video. By grace, through faith in Jesus Christ, we give you praise. Father, by that same grace, I ask you do miracles, signs and wonders. If my dear friend needs healing, heal my dear friend. If my dear friend needs deliverance, deliver my dear friend if my dear friend needs divine intervention by that same grace bring divine intervention in my dear friend's life and take my dear friend up to a greater glory i ask this in jesus name and i thank you for it lord amen and amen god bless you my dear friend thank you for tuning in from myself evangelist gabriel fernandez god bless you and goodbye thank you for watching if you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.